preaching for several years, I became empty. I became empty and unfulfilled. I mean, you are in New York, you know. In this town, leave that thing. I am the Baba for prosperity. You all know me. I can collect money from Satan. If Satan appears, I can collect money from him. I'm the Baba for prosperity. I preached prosperity until I was lost inside. I couldn't find my way. Totally lost. I preached deliverance. I did deliverance in this town. Till I went from street to street, junction to junction, casting out demons. I've done it all. I've done it all. I came to a point in my life where life became meaningless. In fact, I told God, maybe my time is up. Because there was no more joy, no excitement. I'm not looking forward to anything. I was fed up. I said to God, is this all that there is to ministry? Preach, raise money, and be happy? Is that all? Collect money, raise money, promise people things that I know is not Bible? Four keys to success, three keys to breakthrough, 45 keys, 40 steps, how to make it, pillars of prosperity, and I know that none of them is true. I even knew that some of the scriptures I was quoting, there was something wrong with them. Scriptures like give and it shall be given, good measure, press down, shaking together, running over, shall men give to your bosom, has nothing to do with money. I got fed up and I left church. I left our church. I didn't tell them, but I left. I told mama, let's get out. We jetted out. I was fed up. I said, let me pray. Maybe I need to pray. Maybe something is wrong with me. I need to seek the Lord and find out what is the matter. I got into prayer. I took two weeks to pray. At the end of two weeks of praying, I had nothing. But I felt like going to the bookshop. I got to the bookshop. And I saw a shelf with Andrew Womack's book. I never liked Andrew Womack because to me, he is a lazy preacher. You know, Africans, until somebody is gyrating, he is playing. So, and then the woman could just sit down and be talking as if the whole world is waiting for him. I didn't like him. But then I discovered he, he commanded global attention. So I wanted to find out what is he saying that makes everywhere I go, people are asking me if I'm listening to Andrew Womack. But I'm not patient to watch him. So I saw a shelf of all his books. I packed all. But I didn't read. We came back to Uyo. I got on my pulpit and preached and felt emptier. I told Mama, let's go again. We left. We went to Dubai. In Dubai, I prayed for like two weeks. I was just seeking myself. I was looking for me. Because me was lost. Listen to me, I'm not joking. Me was lost. I had cars. I had money. I had invite, I could preach on any pulpit in the world I wanted. I had everything working, but me was lost. So I traveled. After two weeks in Dubai, I didn't find solution. I told Mama, let's go back. We got in the aircraft. On that trip, I took two of Andrew Womack's book, and I didn't read them. But in the plane, my eyes were sharp, so I felt like reading. So I took the first Andrew Womack's book. I read only eight pages. Eight. And my heart opened. The veils fell off. I saw where I missed it. I took out a notebook and my pen. And I was writing throughout the flight. I finished the first book, the second book that I took with me. I came back and proceeded on another time of vacation. I studied, studied, prayed. I began to find joy fulfillment in Christ in Christ I discovered that mm -mm, Christ is the missing link in the gospel and the only link in the gospel I 
came back to our church and I did 30 days of glory and I blew grace. I began to preach the grace of Christ. What Christ has done in his death, burial and resurrection. I preached it for 30 days. I preached it. And I began to preach salvation. I began to preach the revelation of Jesus. My life is fulfilled. I have peace. I have a reason to live. I'm so happy. People say, Dr. Damina, we observe you are so consistent. You are not distracted. Me, distract. <laughs> I have found him. <laughs> Bishop Michael Conco called me a few years ago. He said, Abel, what have we been reading? Mm -hmm. I said, sir, I have asked the same question. He said, why will it take me 70 years of my life to discover the gospel? Why will I be 70 before I discover the gospel? Bishop Mike was telling me, Michael Koko, he said, I am discovering gospel at 70 after I have preached for over 40 years. What have I been reading? He went back to his church and apologized. Every other day, I'll be on phone with him for two hours. We're studying scripture. The man said to me, Abel, now I know I am saved. Now I know I have Christ. Now I sleep in peace. Now I am no more afraid. He said, when I used to preach those things, I wasn't sure of going to heaven. He tells that story all over the world. All his friends abandoned him. He said, Abel, I can lose the whole world. It matters nothing to me. I have found Christ. 70 years of age. What is the man looking for? 